So it's now 48 hours since we uh, last put this queen cage in the hive and it's time to check to make sure that uh, the queen is out and amongst her workers. As you can see they've actually sort of managed to sort of glue the box in place and unfortunately the queen is still there. Now it's important we let her out because if she's strapped in there for too long uh, she can basically uh, starve although the workers will try and feed her but clearly it's much better for her to be in amongst her colony now, now that they've accepted her. If they hadn't accepted her they would actually have stung her to death but as you can see she's quite alive and quite fine and now we're simply going to let her walk out and she can join the rest of the colony. As you can see she's quite healthy. It's very important that the queen stays healthy because she's obviously going to be laying all the eggs in the hive uh, and during the height of the summer she can lay up to 2,000 eggs a day. So there she is being fed by her workers. Um, you can see that the white dot makes her very very visible and that's really important because later on in the year when this hive gets really full of bees uh, it can be quite difficult to see the queen. And when we expect the hive each week we're checking to make sure that the queen is there um, so that the colony can carry on through the rest of the year developing as normal. As you can see there she is being fed and the workers are now licking her body and they're licking the body to pass around a pheromone called the queen pheromone which is produced by a gland on her body just behind that white dot and they'll then distribute that around the hive to let them know they've got a queen and to keep everything else stable. It also suppresses the workers ovaries to stop them producing eggs which we don't want. And there she goes, quite happy. And we'll check on her again in, a, say, a week's time, just to make sure she's laying eggs and everybody's happy. Thanks for watching.